Good morning, another one. I'm Frisco, and this is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review on Forex Briefing for Saturday, the 24th of June 2023. Yesterday we had uh, a couple of races, so for Friday the 23rd, we red car at 4.45. We were on this uh, number four mint edition uh, each way, which came sixth at 7 to 1. Um, and we are on the new market 810 via Coroni, which came fifth, uh, back 10 to 3 to 1 favourite. So, uh, so we had uh, pound for four places, 0.95 to one, basically the evens, uh, and a win at uh, eight to one on that one, and a pound three places, 0.79 to one, uh, and uh, pretty much four to five, and a pound win at four to one. So, uh, what happened there then? Well, mint edition, uh, these were horse first models. Uh, mint edition, uh, we hooked that off the all weather nine and a half, uh, extended uh, nine and a half furlongs. Um, and uh, looking at that horse run at uh, red car it's got a very uh, it's got very high action uh, it's a speed horse but well unfortunately it's got very high action for for this uh, for those conditions uh, and therefore it was uh, it was outgunned uh, but the uh, that horse will be uh, very hard to beat um, under the right conditions so it needs it needs either good to soft going uh, on the, on the turf or uh, back on the all-weather, uh, Southall, Chelmsford, uh, uh, Wolverhampton, uh, and then it's, uh, we'll be having another go at it. So that was that. Uh, this Via, via Caroni, uh, speed again, uh, but faded. Um, uh, arguably uh, uh, ran too freely uh, early on, but, uh, but that horse has potential as well. That, that's got a speed speed in it and it didn't happen on the day so so we uh we had a frustrating day yesterday we lost the four pound per eight pound unit 400 pounds for us the count came down yet again to uh, 75.7 units for a peak of 79 so so we've lost about four units off this um we've not had a hit for quite some time uh but uh that's where we are so now today uh racing saturday the 24th we got one at haydock uh, 635, Felix Handicap, 0 to 85, 5 furlong, model 98. Uh, we've got this number 3, Grace Angel. Uh, the benchmark is 16th to 11th, Subtle 5. Uh, and that's modelled at 100 plus. Um, Haydock uh, 5 is model 98, so uh, so it's a little bit slower. Uh, we've got the win only on that one. Pound win at 11 to 4. Uh, we thought we'd be able to do a bit better on that, but we, we've had to... Uh, Stick with 11 to 4. Uh, that's definitely a speed horse. Um, uh, Grace Angel uh, will be tough to beat, but uh, but because the odds are screwed off, uh, we're going to stick with uh, pound or 100 pounds in our case win. Uh, the other one is the new market uh, 352. Handicap 0 to 87 for a long, uh, good July course, model 97. Uh, we've got this Dagmar run, which is the outsider of the, of the group, but it's... Uh, uh, the 18th of uh, 11th, uh, Kempton 7, model 96. Again, just a, a tad slower than where we are today at Newmarket. We've got uh, four places at 3.1. Uh, so we've got roughly the same odds for coming fourth as the, as this, uh, uh, what's it called, um, Gross Angel. And we've got the win at 20 to 1 there. Now, now that uh, four places uh, at around threes, uh, Anything above five to two really is uh, excellent, uh, as far as we're concerned. So we're we're doing that, and uh, so overall we've got uh, three pound per eight pound unit, three hundred pounds on, uh, in a combination of win only and uh, each way, uh, giving us 0.375 exposure. Now what's been happening? So, so we've been swinging over to these horse first models, and we're sort of tiptoeing our way into them. We're finding the stakes have been slightly lower than normal. Uh, and um, and we're sort of finding our feet on those. Uh, the Royal Ascot Festival, which has just gone, we've uh, we've we've missed two uh, two winners. We've missed um, uh, the Green Man, which came in at seven to one uh, a couple of days ago, and that's out again uh, today. But at short odds, at about five to four evens, uh, so we won't be touching that. And uh, we've also missed yesterday. We missed Coppice. Which one one of our model horses, and, and the reason we missed them is because they were enormous fields. They're twenty nine, roughly twenty nine runners in them, uh, and we didn't want to get involved in in that. So, uh, so it, the results have, have sort of been a little bit unfavourable to us in that respect, 
uh, we've fucked some winners which we've which we've uh, not put on due to the uh, risk potential risk return uh, and uh, we've picked up some losers along the way uh, on secondary races so anyway that's that's where we are there so hopefully we'll uh, start spinning this around we're, we're anxious to uh, um, scale up on racing uh, and we're just in that frustration phase where we're swinging from race first to horse first modeling uh, and on the uh, on the forex front we had a little go at uh, um, uh, selling the euro pound uh, and we got stopped out of break even uh, on the trade uh, and that was that so uh, nothing to write on about there but uh, didn't lose any money so, uh, so that's where we are then so uh, a bit frustrating but we're going to swing this around shortly so uh, anyway thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and goodbye